Having been dropped into the deep end in the first part, pupils are then given a little bit more structure and guidance. Uh, I liked stage two a lot better than stage one because we were given a sheet of like the beats to play and the notes to play on the piano and stuff, so we got to do it a lot quicker and it was found it a lot easier. I think it was really important for them to have done stage one before they did stage two because the bonding had already taken place, they worked well as a group, they knew how to set up their instruments and they knew the basics of how to play them. They still have to do oral copying from a CD and they're still working in friendship groups, but this time the song on the CD has been chosen for them. The CD contains the hit song, the funk song, and the instrumental version of Word Up by Cameo. The CD has 15 other tracks, each of which contains one riff isolated and taken from the song and repeated over and over again. And there's also a worksheet to support this. Teachers demonstrate a selection of the riffs, both by playing them on the CD to the class and by playing them on a variety of instruments. <laughs> So they were able to jam almost immediately, they were able to actually exist as part of a group and playing the roles that they would play if they were more experienced musicians. Yeah, it's a really easy song to pick up, the Word Up one by Cameo, that was really easy to pick up because you get different tracks with like the riffs and everything to play on them, which is really good, it helped a lot. Some pupils preferred the greater freedom and choice of the first part, but others preferred the greater structure and guidance of this part. Uh, the important thing is that by doing both these approaches we're giving them different choices and different ways of going about learning so we can appeal to a broader swathe of children. The task for the next few weeks is to copy the riffs orally from the CD, again working in friendship groups, and to put them together as a band to form their own song. For instance, you could mix riff 6 and 7 on electric guitar with riff 14 on keyboard. Or riff 8 on bass with riff 12 on keyboard. I think stage two was successful in that it was possible for the students to put together their performances much faster and also the option of picking out the different motifs made it possible for them to put it together and to have a whole piece very quickly. And now they work through stage two and what they've done, they've really honed their skills in there. It be instrumental skills, playing bass guitar, knowing where the notes are on the frets, uh, electric guitars, keyboard work, knowing how to play chords or two notes together. Um, rhythm parts, keep them st a steady beat. It sharpened the focus considerably, and therefore they were able to cooperate and, and make rapid progress, or well, quite quick progress, you know, in terms of putting together bass lines and one or two parts and then playing on the CD. I was expecting in stage two for their motivation to drop because obviously we were taking away their choice and their freedom and the song that we'd chosen wasn't particularly something that they would have chosen for themselves. So I was quite impressed by that and I think that again, you know, that demonstrates that their motivation is still really strong and they're keen to try new things and they'll give it their best shot. Because I've learnt how hard it was to actually get a music piece together, now I actually kind of appreciate like, like what other people are doing and everyone just seems like they're enjoying it rather than not enjoying it and getting bored. Everyone didn't seem like anyone was bored at any point. Everyone like really was excited about it. 
Very few actually ever use a CD player. In fact, after a couple of weeks, they didn't need it anymore. Now, that I think is a sign of actually progress in terms of them being able to hold their own parts in an ensemble situation. You know, but the, the standard of musicianship was incredibly high. But I think it speaks for itself, doesn't it? The kids, the kids do enjoy it, don't they?